Alrighty, we're back for another segment of this motor train here from 67. This is a neat ad for the El Camino here. Uh, I've always liked El Caminos and Rancheros. Call me crazy. Some people don't. I wish they still made them. I believe in Australia they still make a Falcon Ute and some version of the Ranchero. But nevertheless, just, just a cool car. Uh, they just tell you a little bit about it here. It's just a neat vehicle. It's a shame they quit making those. Let's see, talk about Le Mans. Let's see, here's another cool ad. This is for American Motors. That's cool. The Ambassador, Marlin Rebel, Rambler American. Pretty cool cars. You don't see them anymore. You go to the car shows and you see the same Camaros and Chevelles over and over again. It'd be nice to see some stuff from AMC and, you know, just, just some different vehicles that were produced back then. Very cool. There's a it's kind of a neat advertisement for steel. You can see their little logo there. They can pay you to know why engineers specify alloy steel for automotive gears. You'll feel more confident each time you drive. Very, very cool. There's an article about our buddy Ralph Nader. It's kind of interesting. I don't really go into that. He's kind of a knucklehead. <laughs> This is neat. The Aero Car. I'm sure you've seen this before online. And it's neat, you know. I show this from 1967 and we still don't have anything like it. But it's just just incredible. Just just neat technology there. Wow. Just just interesting to see how it worked and hmm. It's an article by the National Automobile Dealers Association. It talks about driver training. Very interesting. And once again, it's all about driver training. It's you can have all the technology in the world, and it's still have some horrible accidents. I thought uh, some of these articles here were pretty interesting. Uh, this is kind of their Q and A section, and uh, it's it's just neat. The, the advertisement's cool. They have the Charles Atlas advertisement there. I don't know if you can see that. That's a cool advertisement. Good old Charles Atlas there. That's neat. They talk about some of the different. There's a gentleman who has a 57 Chevy with a 283. Keeps having issues with his fuel pump. Pretty neat just to read. I mean, you think of a 57 nowadays and it seems like it's ancient, but back then it was only 10 years old. I mean, that's just, that's remarkable. That's very remarkable. This is my favorite one in the performance Q&A. And the, the person writes, you got to be kidding, that's the title. And the question is, I have a 1955 Ford Crown Victoria, which my boyfriend says is a classic. Is it? Also, when I put my car up for winter, must I drain all the antifreeze out of the radiator and engine? The answer, say your boyfriend wouldn't happen. Say your boyfriend wouldn't happen to be a used car salesman, would he? Your car is not a classic, even if you plan on keeping it for about 40 years. Ralph Stein would say it could possibly be called a special interest car, but as far as we're concerned, let's just say if you keep it in excellent shape, it'll bring a decent price in the market, and you don't have to drain modern antifreeze compounds when you store a car for the winter. That to me is incredible. If you saw a 1955 Crown Victorian now, they're, they're beautiful. It's incredible. That's, that's, that's wild at that time that somebody would have said that. I mean, incredible. It makes you wonder now what, you know, 20, 30 years from now, what's gonna be collectible. I, I just, wow, I saw that and incredible. What else we have on here? There's kind of, there's a battery disconnect switch, which is kind of cool. Your car, I do have a couple sets of those. My car's just nice when you don't drive them all the time. Uh, what else here? Just another interesting, some cars here. The Lotus up here, there's just pretty neat stuff in here. Keystone wheels, wow, that's cool on the Mustang. Very cool advertisement. Here we have some cars for sale, which I thought were pretty interesting. 
Here's a 57 Cadillac Eldorado Brome Black with white leather interior, stainless steel top, pneumatic suspension, two barrel carb, original cost $14,000. $14,000 for that car, 1957, incredible. They want $3,500, wow. That's a beautiful car if you've ever seen one. It's a 58 Chrysler 300D convertible. They want $1,195 for it, wow. A 38 Packard, wow, it's incredible. Incredible the cars back there. It's a 54 Hudson Hornet. The three at wow, just just incredible. There's their little comic strip here at the end. The grease monkey shines, which is pretty funny. And here's an old advertisement for Coca-Cola. That's pretty cool. And on the back, this is a neat, a neat piece. This is a Ford advertisement here for all the different technology you could get in the car. They had black and white TVs and scanners and CBs and 8-tracks. Very, very cool. But anyways, in recap, I hope you enjoyed this uh, four-part series here. I just, after reading the, the, the magazine here, I had to just go through and point out some of the more interesting parts. It's just incredible to read this from 1967. I mean, this is 12 years older than me, but I, I can really relate to it. I, the cars are just incredible. Just just incredible. What, what a time for Detroit. Just wow. I wish, I wish we could build cars like that now instead of the cookie cutter plastic front wheel drive unibody junk that they make now. Ugh. What a shame. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And like I said, I hope we get some more magazines here to review and Please post your comments and enjoy. Thanks for viewing.